the morning? Get out of here! Great work. Did you feel anything out of the ordinary? If you're injured, I have a few emergency potions ready. Excellent. According to my observations, the manifestation of the external elemental flow is as expected. Elemental reactions are normal. There's nothing out of the ordinary. Now that we know that the external flow is manifesting normally, Let's test the internal flow. Internal flow? How do you test that? It's very simple. I can use alchemy to create a potion that will extract elemental power. If the elemental power is stored or accumulated physically within your body, this potion may elicit an elemental react- Sounds kind of terrifying. Don't worry. In the norm- And- If anything unexpected occurs, I've made the necessary preparations. Well, it's not that there aren't any risks involved. But if there is anything blo- Just a warning. If an internal elemental reaction occurs for any other reason, that's a bad sign. Yes, that's an excellent way to think about it. Before we get started, the potion we'll use for the test, it's a type of or I'll take you to my campsite. All going to plan- Paimon, let's keep our eye- Here. Should do for catalyst purposes. This one. Usable with a bit of polish. This should be enough. My campsite is just up ahead. I'll lead the way. This is my campsite. I've added them at- While we are waiting, have a look over here.
My assistant Demeas here is helping me with my research. I'm guessing you may have met in Mondstadt already. Hello! I've just gotten hold of the data from your experiment. The report is already up on the board there. Wow. <laughs> I, I think the most rational direction would be to expound on the phylogenetic relationship between this traveler and the slimes. Hmm, consider. You don't have a vision, but you can manipulate elemental energy. The slimes don't have visions either, yet they too are able to manipulate the elements. Following this line of thought, I'm sure we'll be able to establish a basis in fact. Not bad for a point of entry. But strictly speaking, slimes are elemental life forms. In other words, beings consisting entirely of the elements. A cryoregis vine, or even a whopper flower might be a better analogy. But tracing back the phylogenetic relationships between plants and animals, you might have to trace back to the world's origins. In that sense, things might get difficult, don't you think? Uh, yes sir. That sounds correct. After all, we've got our primary data already. This traveler is a visitor from another world. If it turned out that she did have a phylogenetic relationship with this world... Huh. Now that really would be something, wouldn't it? Ah, it would. <laughs> Apologies. I was so excited to get the data. I'll slow down a bit next time. Speaking of data, to complete our research, we'll need some more. I'll be conducting analysis here for the time being. If you're keen for an update, just come and find me. Great. I'll leave you to it. Hmm. Looks like the potion's ready. I'll try a little first. If all goes well, I'll hand it over to you. Mm -hmm. In line with my expectations. Ready to drink. Remember to keep calm at all times, and breathe deeply if you feel unwell. This was the result I was expecting, and a very positive one at that. This potion channels elemental power into the body. Under normal circumstances, a repelling reaction is to be expected. But if the internal elemental flow is unimpeded, you'll only experience momentary discomfort. Once the flow is complete, there won't be any other effects. So you knew you'd be sick and still drink some? <laughs> it was my own concoction, of course. Only natural for me to be the... Perhaps it's just scholarly selfish. In conclusion? Aww, then again, better an ordinary result than a pe... The good thing about people are the same when you're sick, but a peculiar... For example, a human... To sum up, Timaeus, the results of the new experiment are out. If you could see to collating them. Just a moment, sir. I'll handle it. Oh, you gave me a... Oh, having you down is... Not bad. I... Hmm. You can... Ca is he trying to... Uh, oh. Hmm. If you're interested... back. Did you see anything interesting? Hmm, agreed. I'd love to find a moment to put them all- Well, on with the research. 
There may be significant difference. Take to that, but worlds may- So, I think answering this question calls for the same methodology as last time. No, no. You shan't be required to exert quite so much effort. Now, see this pillar here? Use your willpower to try and break it. You think Paimon knows how to do that stuff? That was your best effort? Ah, have you tried using your elemental power with food? I I'm curious to see how the taste and texture respond. It may even help with... <laughs> I suppose I have a curios- anyway. Cooking? Not only is this- Hmm. Paimon- That does sound yummy, though. Okay, Paimon approves! Mm-hmm. Good- I'll leave you to it, then. If there's anything- Uh, Paimon- How are we gonna channel elemental power into the food? That was fast. Maybe try Looking the willpower to thing again. Ideas from anyway. Benny's adventure team assemble. fast. Good things.
to those who don't wait around. That's what they say anyway. That was fast. That was fast. That was fast. Looking forward to tasting, I mean, testing the results. Benny's adventure team, assemble! Let's go find some treasure! Benny's adventure team, assemble! Good things come to those who don't wait around. That's what they say anyway. Knowing my luck, the opposite is probably true for me. Adventure team, assemble! Let's go find some treasure! Benny's adventure team, assemble!
Weather is not bad today. Oh crud, I jinxed it. Now it's bound to rain. Off we go. Adventure time. Adventure time! We go. Benny's adventure team assemble. No one's joined me on an adventure in ages. Come on, let's go! Benny's adventure <sighs> Adventure time Adventure time!
Off we go! Couldn't break the curse. What's the hurry? Ha. Ha. What's the hurry? Fortunate.
What's the hurry? Cheap and tasty chop suey. Try something new at the Wan Min restaurant. Seems all the other knights already have their hands full. <laughs> Archon, guess it's a good thing Venti brought it up earlier. Uh, well, look. Oh, did you? But it seems as impolite for so we should. What's the hurry?
What's the hurry? What's wrong? Can't handle the cold? <laughs> Dodge this! Let's light it up! Adventure time! That was fast. Mmm. An average outcome experimentally, but you've really brought out the flavor. You seem well versed in the science of gastronomy. As far as the proliferation hypothesis is concerned, we've come up short. Seems like food presents the same headaches in your world as it does ours. Unless... Could it be that the natural laws of this world are limiting your unique abilities? We just didn't know how to channel elemental power into the food. It's a little more complicated than adding herbs and spices, you know. Not to worry. At least we put some food to good... And here's your... Woo! You were paying attention. I can tell that you're good friends. Paimon was keeping an eye on you and your safety during the whole experiment. Not that Paimon would have been able to do much if things had gone wrong. Hey! But you do have tasty rest, and you're right! Uh, yes. I'm fortunate too, I suppose. Anyway, moving on to the next. There are all manner of alchem. I managed to retrieve the majority, but two vials have been evading me. Don't worry if you can't locate them. I was planning to replace... If you had, say, a superpower. Like night vision or vibratory sensing. A lost property would be a thing of the past. I must have dropped them somewhere in the area where you were looking just now. So, guess we'd better take a look. Oh, yeah! An elemental life form from another world. As soon as we have strong evidence, this may end up subverting a lot of alchemical theories. Albedo's research will see. Electro-hypostasis powder! The extra! 
artifact of an animal crystal fly can only be animal elemental energy. Still in one piece! Good thing the vial's so strong! Off we go! Adventure time! Goodness. He managed to find them. Incredible. I'm wondering. Yep. Guess it does sort of count as a super. Unfortunate, only a never. You mean. Don't be this hard. I have to come. Right then. Up until now, our research has focused on your up. In essence, th looking out from where we're standing. Can you see what Sucrose is doing? And if you jumped from here and landed on that cliff. The so what about if you planted a single blow on the mountain face here? And hmm. I know of a location. Off we go! Adventure time! Necessarily. Not if you know of a better method, that is. Whichever method you choose, I will factor the time expended and your top speed into my comp- The opposite side of the lake. So- Without limitations, we complete tasks intuitively. Some of us would be unable to stand the icy waters. No matter what choice you make, it's all a part of the experiment. Then if you would, please, I eagerly await- Me? Recording data, responding to risks, providing uh, emotional support. So if we do decide to go swimming, you gonna dive in with us? No. Unless you're thinking of conducting competitive research? Oh! Uh, forget Paimon said anything. Adventure time! Great work. I've never seen it before. Your reputation precedes you, Traveler. The data shows that you're easily- But you followed us the whole way without- Me? <laughs> Actually, I used alchemy to cheat a little. But anyway. If it turns out that the natural laws of Tevad do not affect you, if the natural- the innumerable- But how does this help- You've helped me to unravel many of the problems that were holding it back. I may be a- Gold. Petrified tree. The essence of the investigative process. I'm willing to pour all my energy into research. And yet, all these things that start out as objects of fascination end up possessing the pros- Oh, so that's why you- Precisely. To quote my exact words from earlier, these creatures are, for the most part, quite boring, not worth closer inspection. There is precious little about them that serves to pique my curiosity now. So after all these experiments, 
Are we gonna be, like, boring to you? Like some basic draft of a sketch? Of course not. You have been of great assistance to me, and I will remember this friendship for a lifetime. Now, before we head back to the campsite, there is one more experiment. Intelligence. Follow me. There are some other ruins nearby. Seems all the other knights already have their hands full. We go! <clears throat> I imagine you must have encountered more than a few conundrums during your travels. I'd like to observe your intelligence by means of a practical test of your capability. I'd like you to explore these ruins. There are two puzzles. As with the physical test, there are no restrictions. Everything a tried and test. So, let's see you in action. Seely like these are a common sight in the mountains. Returning them to their rightful places is up to you. It's a complex environment, so proceed with caution.
adventure time! Off we go! What's the hurry? Ha. What's the hurry?
What's the hurry? <gasps> How fortunate. Freeze! Can't afford any more bandages. I must leave no stone unturned. It should now be possible to activate the central mechanism. Exactly what will happen when you do is... Oh, seems that the water level has suddenly decreased. We should be able to see what's in the water now. Let's have a look. What's this? To the best of my knowledge, these belong to a script of some kind. They can be found all over Tevat, but they've never given up their secrets. There's still a lot to learn about them, and as for why they should ever have come to rest here, a true mystery. Let me make a copy first. I'll make time to go over them in greater detail after our research. <sighs> Another thing for the don't understand list. Unsolvable mystery this, weird experiment that. It'd be nice to get some... Seems like if you... I've truly get... Let me return to the campsite first. By the time you get back, I may just have a fleeting miracle for you to witness. Paimon's kind of looking forward to seeing the res- Unless you can think of- Not so fast. You're not leaving until I'm convinced that nothing dangerous is going on here. <gasps> you! You didn't leave the mountain? I most certainly didn't, I must say. You let your guards down. Or maybe you were drawn in by his compelling sounding hypothesis and friendly demeanor. Taking orders, I'd sooner believe you were tricked than that you would be so naive. Or perhaps, you were colluding from the beginning. Sister Rosaria's guard's so high, she can't even see over the top of it! It doesn't matter what you think. He could be a saint for all you know. But I understand him a little better than you, Outlander. I'm only concerned with one thing. Whether his alchemy- No way! Paimon would have sensed it! And anyway, he didn't even use any alchemy! With an alchemist of his level, you wouldn't sense- In any case, I'm not about to let a potential threat back into Mondstadt. So... What are you gonna do? <laughs> I've gotta hand it to you. You have your moments. If I can be sure that nothing you came into contact with is dangerous, that's good enough for me. I've investigated everything else. The only items left on the agenda are these symbols. But we don't even know what they mean. 
Hmm. That much is true. Not to mention, seems like there's nothing more to them. But for insurance purposes, I'd better make a copy. Hmm. This is now a location of interest. Regular patrols should be set up here. Now then, all things considered, I deem that you pose no immediate threat. Which is what I was hoping. I would have been one very unhappy sister if you'd made me work overtime on your account. Overtime? Before we go our separate ways, Outlander, a word of advice. Don't be so quick to trust Albedo, and don't repeat the same mistakes that you did this time. You made a lot of rash decisions today. She's gone! Mindset doesn't have many people like that. Huh. Never mind her. Let's go see Albedo! <laughs> What's the hurry? You're back. Good timing. I've just about re- You took quite a while. Did you get held up on the way back? Time for the results. But the integral preliminary conclusion that I can offer you is... You're very much- You couldn't tell that just by looking? We spent all day working our butts off for that? Please, I understand that this may have seemed self-evident to you. But in fact, Nothing in this world should be taken for granted. Have you ever considered that the world of Tevat may have a natural hostility to Outlanders? I mentioned the natural laws of this world, the only other li- But, imitating you helped to inspire my alchemy. And so... The transition from nothing into something, from shoot to stem. Is not nurturing otherworldly life also nurturing the world itself? Ah. <sighs> it would seem that that's as far as we go. A transient bloom of incomparable beauty. Life's proudest achievement. Life is a man of a short life. So, do you understand what I meant about us conversing? Uh, things feel a little heavy right now. <laughs> Don't be sad. You've got Paimon to look after you. Albedo, Paimon really wants to be your friend. Thank you both. Even if dispelling loneliness is not essential for life, it certainly doesn't hurt. Your help inspired me to discover the means to make a flower bloom. I mean that the time I've spent traveling with you in the mountains was a valuable journey for me. 
In the future, if the need arises, can I solicit your help again? Well, I made a point throughout of telling her how ordinary the results were. But what was that sediment I saw forming at the bottom of the vial? It should not have- Those born of Earth are bound if, one day, can I rely on- What's the hurry? What's the hurry? What's the hurry? Just begun. Let's light it up! Yeah. 
miscalculated. Everybody stand back! Don't get frostbite. Dodge this! This is 
said. That's what I call treasure. Adventure time. It's the Traveler and Paimon! Hello, you two. It's been a long time. Were you having a... Just a regular catch-up. We... Uh, so he didn't look in the best of... Uh, ups yeah, he wasn't looking as he... Upset. Uh, I wonder if Tamei is a... Surely not! <laughs> a favor? Oh, yeah, I'm a f Huh? <laughs> Pime. <sighs> okay. I I'm sorry. Whoa, you're to- Well, as alchemists use Paimon, I don't think even Albedo can make such an incredible device. After all, alchemy is not mechanics. There is a big difference between the two. Huh? In fact, of course, we know better now. Oh, of course, these are just Timaeus's and my sub but I wouldn't get your hopes up. Uh, he doesn't- He won't. Albedo is not that kind of person. Hey! Unless he's specific- Then let's go to Dragon Spine to find him! Oh. 
Come on, let's... Paimon, fancy meeting you all the way out here. Amber? Cyrus? Hallett? What? Oh, who? I agree. I feel much better with the trap. Oh, right! <laughs> the Adventurer's Guild is holding winter trip, as you know. So, we made a plan for senior members to pair up with junior members. This way, everyone can experience training on Dragon Spine together under safe and controlled circumstances. Now, every adventurer can progress together. I've been working on this grand plan for half a year now, and it's finally coming together! <laughs> it's a great plan, isn't it? Hey, you are an outstanding adventurer. Surely you must be willing to join us and help. Is the adventurer's guild short on experience, Nip? Well, that's the other reason it. I heard he lives here on the camp, so I escorted him back. I know. I totally sympathize with- Aww. Anyway, I wanted to do something to cheer Joel up, so I- s It also gives me a chance to stay here for a while. Ah, let's go meet up with- Hey, Cyrus. No problem. We're here! Hi, everyone! <laughs> I'm so happy right now! It's nice to have so many people to hang out with. Are you here to build a snowman, too? Build... a snowman? Oh, sorry. I forgot to do the introductions. This is Eula, the Spindrift Knight and Captain of the... Amber, you're being fought, please. Just call me Eula. <laughs> okay, Auntie Eula. You can call me Joel. Auntie... Eula? Uh-oh. Eula's gonna add that to her long list of school... All right. Whoa! Eula just let something go... Amber? What? Yeah, that's... He used to build snow... Besides, Eula, let's combine our forces and build ourselves... Yep, yep! Come, come... Hmm. Auntie Eula, if so, it's okay. <laughs> no, nothing like that. Then let's get started. Joel and I will be on one. Hey, Joel, see that huge... Yeah, let's do it! Wow, those two are... It's hard to tell what... Hey, what's up with you two? Why are you just... Um, well, Joel probably hasn't spent much of his life and he doesn't know... Right, that's why he calls you Auntie Eula. True, it was a surprise. But not in a bad way. Indeed. I have never been. And after I grew up. Oh, no! You sound enough small. Greetings! We have a. S how it happened was. We. Thank good. Oh, hello. Hmm. In that case. Fine. Huh? Pay for what? Okay. <laughs> if anybody else signs up later, I may have to ask for your help as well. Why did you give the spot to Eula? Oh, okay. To be honest, Eula real. Oh, N um. We What's wrong? Can't handle the cold.
going this way? Did we get here too late? What's the hurry? What's the hurry? The sound is completely stopped! How could that happen? Oh. I know that voice. Mm -hmm. Huh? What brings you to Dragonspine? Oh, so it was... All along. On the way here, we honestly... You... The things you've... So... What business brought you here? We actually came... Hmm. Hey! How dare you! Oh, is that... Then it must surely be something of great importance. He seems to be in a better mood than we thought, right? Huh. Okay, let's... That's okay if you can't tell me about it. So... Oh, I see. We're not goofing around! And you was the right person for the job! What about you? A friend commit... Raw material? Paint. Star silver. Or it can be you. Yes. Even with a high level of impurity. Interest. You want to learn to paint? No, no. During our travels, painting is a great example because it can capture a moment in time. So it seems like it's definitely a worthwhile skill to have. Yep. Why not? Once you mastered it, you can paint Paimon. Not a bad idea. Well... Since you two would like to learn more about painting, why don't you come with me to the campsite? I have painting materials there. You can practice while I give you some guidance. Sounds great! Oh, she'll be fine! Come on, let's go! It's so cold out. What's the hurry? Ah! Thieves! It's gotta be! Hmm. Some things are missing. It's hard to say their value. Some of my alchemy notes are missing. Alchemy notes? To the uninitiated. So you're saying only someone who knows alchemy would have stolen them? But the- I feel the same way. <sighs> hmm. Footprint? Fresh ones. Meaning our thief can't have made it far. Let's chase them down! We can't let them get away! <laughs> From the entrance, the footprints go that way. The footprints lead up there. So they scaled the cliff. Okay, after them. What's the hurry? Footprints on the snow are so hard to notice. So easy to lose track completely. 
That's why we have to hurry. Huh? The footprints stop here! Our thief must have jumped from the cliff. Get your wind glider ready. We are going down. Here. They're heading to the cavern! Ooh, let's go in! Wait. I, I'll go in alone. This cavern has two points of entry. And they're short. Cut him off at both ends. Whoever apprehends the th still. Safety comes first. We'll be fine. <sighs> okay. See you short. Of course. I wonder if Albedo found the sea. Really? Why don't we find. Oh! Look at all that star silver over there. It's right next to the cavern, so we won't be. Yay! Let's get started! Unable to catch him. He was faster than I'd imagined. Oh, oh! So after all of that, we still. Still, we won't be going back completely and. Uh, yeah! For stars, it's just like you said! Star Silver. I was merely... Well, you said they can be... T also, anyway... Yes, the notes mean a lot to me. I'm not quite ready to give up the search. Oh! Just there's no point in bringing the battle... <sighs> Indeed. The sorting pro... Useless... Th right! Sick Help! Wait! Did you guys hear that? Was that... It's likely an adventure... Okay! Traveler and Paimon? It's me! No! Oh, it's really him! Let's get him! So sorry to trouble you guys again. The key should be. Let's light it up! Off we go! Wow! So much clutter! Let's light it up! Adventure time! Get out of here! Out of the way! Why do they never miss? Off we go! Off 
we go! time uh. off we go adventure time uh oh we got company no stone on turns been rocks mixed in it <laughs> I won't bore you with the rest of the details yep taking them out was child's play you did <laughs> I know they were probably just following orders but so what are you doing on dragon's fine didn't Rick did you hear about the adventure razor is not but now I've been stuck here for so long I probably missed it oh, if so what? Weren't they short on instructors? A few people from the Knights of Avonia stepped up in order to help support the event. So they ended up with more instructors than students. Knights of Favonius. <sighs> yeah. They're... Right, right. Anyway, besides, after all the trouble you've gone to show... Really? For sure. Hey, wait a second. Where'd Albedo go? Albedo? E no, he just... Hmm. Could he have... Let's go back to the... Off we go! Adventure time! Still no sign of Albedo. This is weird. Where has he run off to? 
This is great! Dragon spine so f This was where we heard Bennett's cry for help, right? We heard it. Wait, what? What are you talking about? <gasps> Alberto! I should be the one. Huh? I'm not really. I apologize, Albedo. I don't fully understand what's going on. No, no. Bad traveler. <sighs> there you are. Stay right there. What? Me? Huh? You, huh? Aren't you supposed to be helping? <laughs> yes, that's what I would be doing if I hadn't been interrupted by a certain someone's malicious scheming. Albedo, I saw you taking. Uh uh... Whoa, 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 wait a second! What's... When I came to stop you from leading Joel any further, your first reaction was to throw the child down and attack me. When I fought back... I see. Interest. Interest. You. Uh, it sounds like you met an imposter, someone who was impersonating me. Impersonating you? To what end? That is difficult. Your alchemy notes were stolen. Yes, we can. As things stand, of course, I was separate, but the trap. Albedo. I don't. There is inst. You. Uh, Traveler, if I am what this imposter wants. <sighs> I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. I will keep Joel safe. If you- You have my gratitude. As far as Amber- Eula! Eula! Where are you? Amber! Eula! Oh, and Tr- Bennett, I'm glad I ran into you here. Cyrus was telling me you still hadn't shown up. He was getting worried you might have run into some trouble. <laughs> Yeah, I ran into a little trouble. Thanks for your concern. Sure thing. Uh, but before that, has something come up? How come you're all gathered here together? Need any help? Between us, there have been a few minor incidents. But nothing I haven't already dealt with. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> it's my fault, really. All because of my bad luck. But everything is fine now. So, it's all set then? Great! Shall we head back down together? I did say I'd bring Bennett back if I saw him. Sure, I'm re <sighs> Very well. Let's go. And then there were three! Traveler? Can we talk somewhere else? Let's go- What I call treasure. My camp is somewhere that we can talk openly, without reservation. But... before that...
Thank you. I appreciate it. I've been absorbed in my research lately and haven't attended to the dusting. It's due for a cleaning. Adventure time! Yep, that should do it! Thank you, both of you. Now that everything... You look really serious right now. I remember I... I also... I am a synthetic human being. A synthetic human? Look at- When the pinnacle of a ta- When you say- I am indeed somewhat older than my appearance might suggest. But my master raised me and taught me everything. Like her, I am a pure alchemist. Traveler, what is your general feeling toward Dragonspine? You've visited numerous times now. Rhyndaughter created two miraculous beings. Turin? So As sons of Rhyndaughter, the phenomenon of our- Um, speaking of Durin, Paimon remembers that his power was- That's right. Because of this, whenever strange things happen on Dragonspine, it always makes me wonder. For instance- Oh, right! When you were in the- But Paimon noticed that you came out of the cavern- Then we heard Bennett calling for help, so we went to rescue him! So, it seems that you met my imp- Well, if so- Also, after he left- the Perhaps, Durant, whether someone is a imp- Traveler. Perhaps you should return to Mondstadt if you have no further business here. Yeah! We're Dragonspine veterans by now! If there's something really bad go- Besides, there's no one else in Mondstadt that you can talk to about this. Sucrose and Timaeus don't know your... secret. Yeah, don't- All right. Thank you. You were intending to participate in that, in that case. We'll be sure to pass the info. Good. Then we're agreed. Okay, let's... Sounds good to me, but please. Time has come! Let's go meet up! Let's go find some treasure!
Adventure time! No one's joined me on an adventure in ages. Come on, let's go! Traveler, Paimon. Your faces say that perhaps you haven't turned up anything? We investigated all over the mountain, actually. But we didn't see anyone that looked like you or hear of anyone else meeting you. This is not unexpected. I haven't made much progress either. He appears to know that we are looking for him, and has opted to lie low for the time being. Still, there is one thing I found. I discovered footprints on some parts of the mountain, and although they were a little covered by the snow, I could tell they'd been left by someone of a similar size to myself. The footprints were quite numerous, so I believe my next step will be to rule out each of the adventurers active on Dragonspine, one by one. We can help with that! We have plenty of contact with the adventurers! So now we... It came from that direction. Could it be the imposter? Yes, let Adventure time! time. Hey, did you see that? Did those 
rock shake just now? <sighs> that was most unfortunate. What are you guys doing here? I have to agree. We've been wandering this area. We ran into Paladur after that. Wait, wait, wait! <laughs> that was nothing really. I sound like conf- Anyway, fortunately- I'm sorry. I'm the one to- <laughs> I agree. Yep, we're just used to it. Really? I think you got- Well... Uh... You're welcome to a bit of mine too. Although if the last few days are any- You got- Aww. Yeah, you bet! Let me flip a treasure hoarder insignia to test it out. All right, it's tails. The opposite of what I guessed. So you can predict your fortune this way? But why are you so happy that you got it wrong? It has two sides, so there's a 50-50 chance of me getting it correct. Luck all comes down to probability, too. So as long as guessing wrong when I flip an insignia is one way to use up some of the... Hey, he's making no sense at all. Why aren't you calling him out? Guys, I guessed wrong in my insignia flip, which means we should be able to make it back to camp. Uh, I'm a... Let me try. It's this way, right? Oh! oh, oh, oh! What? How truly morat... I don't usually believe in luck, but Amber, if you are ever required... Huh? Y yes of course now that you mention it, I do feel a little tired. Well, since everyone is tired... I'm so sleepy... <sighs> Amber will fall asleep in the snow if we keep going my- Here we are. Make yourselves comfortable. Oh, I forgot. I uh, don't have that many chairs. Uh, please wait a moment. What's he doing? Painting? He is. He's painting a chair. Wait, alchemy can turn paintings into objects? How is this possible? My paintings are like blueprints. Alchemy simply enables me to omit the manufacturing part of the process. It's an elementary level technique. With enough... Whoa. Well, since you can magically produce chair... No problem. Me! 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 I'll also take one with a backrest, if you please. Can Paimon have a chair that comes with a juicer? Still beats squeezing onto a stool with you! Hmm. Cool, we have chairs now! <laughs> this is so comfortable! You're very welcome to stay. There's still some time before dinner. Hey now, we can't be letting you do- Oh, pace yourself. It's almost ready now. Traveler, please light the campfire and gather everyone for dinner.
come from? Nice and warm here. Sure thing. Bet you're tired as well. You should get some rest too. Nice and warm here. Sure thing. Bet you're... I made a few dishes based on some popular Mondstadt recipes. Please, help your- Wow, smells great. Don't mind- Wait, don't steal- <sighs> Albedo, you're too modest. These dishes are as good as anything you'd find in the top restaurant. Are all alco- hmm. You- Right? Paimon thinks so too. It's his lab, man. Actually- I'm so sleepy after all that food. <sighs> Did Bennett fall asleep sitting up? <laughs> the way he sleep. <sighs> he seems to be in a deep sleep. Uh, oh no. Sticky honey roast. That's your favorite, isn't it, Amber? Mmm, sure is. Give me a sticky honey roast from Good Hunter any day. I used to take Eula to Good Hunter a lot back when we first met. Before long, Sarah would start cooking our usual orders as soon as she saw us coming. She said we ordered the same thing so often that it was practically muscle memory by that point. <laughs> she also said that if everyone in Mondstadt ordered like we do, her job would be so much easier. All she'd have to do is memorize everyone's favorites. <clears throat> Always eating together. Ah, it's nice that you two are so close. The Traveler and Paimon always eat together too. It's a sure sign of true friendship. Two people simply sharing a meal says nothing either way about the relationship between them. That depends if it's a one-off meal or a regular occurrence. She raises her chin, or puts her hands on her hips. <laughs> ah, you've all picked up on that. Didn't know you- <sighs> We are done here, yes? I am free to go, am I not? Then please excuse- You're going for an ice bath at this time of night? W wait up! I thought you wanted to get some sleep. No, I should come with you. If- An ice bath? Whew. So much. Oh, hey. Wow. Okay, looks- All right, you two. Time to paint. Have you decided what to paint? <laughs> like you even need to ask. It's- Sure. But we should move elsewhere. We're likely to disturb Bennett's sleep if we stay here, so let's go outside. Okie dokie. We go! In 
adventure time! Off we go! Hmm... What's paint here? Allow Paimon to adopt an elegant pose for your artistic re- Hey! What's that look for? Cut the act- Confidence is a- Previously received any education in the fine arts? Oh, really? So it's just a hobby then? Oh, well. Fascinating. Paimon, if this is not to your liking. <sighs> Alright then. Paimon, is this. It's. Adding flourish to the finished piece is an essential component of what makes art... art. This is not to say that you remain the core reference point for the painting. Wow! Oh, I... in truth... The more Paimon looks at it, the more she likes. Paimon's gonna show this off to everyone! It's nothing. I... I rarely entertain so many guests at my camp. It's lively. A little noisy, even. But... I don't... Liveliness is... Ah, it's a new day! Let's go meet up with everyone! Hey, good morning! I slept I'm fine, as usual. The path down the mountain is easier to follow in the daylight. Let's go! If we make good time... I flipped another insignia just outside the camp! Wrong again! So your bad luck is all used up. We'll be down the mountain in no time! Yeah, <laughs> my thoughts exactly! Today's the day! scratched up, but... I'm okay, but I don't see the other two. I'm afraid the avalanche may have pushed them off the cliff. They fell down? They'll be okay though, right? I think they're both robust enough to survive. We have to get down there and rescue them. Okay, let's move! Hang in there, guys! Uh. 
A voice. Over there. Bennett, is that you? Guys, I'm over here. Are you alright? Are you hurt? I... I... Let me check. Hmm... I'm a little dizzy, but I'm not in any pain. I don't think I'm injured. Thank goodness! Scared the life out of me! If you're dizzy, sit and rest for a- Ah, uh, it's fine, really. This kind of thing happens- Wait. We thought he fell up- We found Bennett here, so Albedo can't be- Got it! Sign of him? <sighs> Not a trace. Nothing for me either. Strange. We didn't have any luck either. Where could he have gone? Everyone. Thank you. 
We've been heading in the right direction for a good length of time now. We must be getting close. Victory is in sight! As soon as we get to- I hope we can all get there safely. No more incidents, please. Hey, what's on your mind? You seem a little distracted. Something's up, isn't it? Uh, I don't think I've- Hmm, Hula? Sorry, I was- I was just thinking, if it were a little warmer, and a little- I agree. People are put off by the cold, and have an aversion to danger. They don't realize that there is much to explore beneath the icy exterior. 
If you were willing to spend the time and energy. Albedo, is this the way down? Yes. I think there are several routes in this area. Mm, does the path fork off here? It looks like it... I'm kind of dizzy, too. Neither path will work for... Follow me. Wait. Bennett and Amber don't look well. Uh, huh? You hit your head earlier. Oh, you you know No problem at all! Health and safety always come first. Okay. Sorry for this. Yeah. Drinking some water can help with the dizziness. Thank you, Bennett. Seems like you... <laughs> well, Bennett, weren't you feeling... <laughs> Yola might come off as a little frosty. Traveler, I know what that look means. What's on your mind? Maybe seasoned veterans. I sense it too. It might be... Traveler, I... You... Not over yet. Brace yourselves. This will be a challenge. Stay back. I'm going to cut this weed down to size. Adventure time! Uh, adventure time! Off we go! I must leave no stone unturned, as a good knight should.
adventure time. Yeah. I'm going in.
No stone unturned. Prepare to be blown away! Let's light it up! I take it this monster is whom I had the pleasure of meeting last time. Correct. As you might have guessed, this is a mutated whopper flower. An extremely rare kind. But can whopper flowers turn into humans? Not typically. But conditions on Dragonspine are far from typical. Perhaps the dragon's blood seeped into the land, then was passed to the monsters via the ley lines. Accelerating their rate of mutation. How could that happen? This mountain is home to the remains of Durin, the venomous dragon. If there is anywhere in the world one might expect life to do unfathomable things, it would most likely be here. Durin was an artificially created life form. Its existence is nothing short of a miracle and proof of countless possibilities. In other words, this mountain we stand on is a cradle of life's profoundest mysteries. A vast and terrifying hotbed of possibilities. The avalanche? It must have been the work of this imposter. Agreed. All the other troubles you faced- Right! I forgot all of- It's not in- But what was its purpose? Hmm... I have a preliminary- Whopper flowers, in other words, the whopper flower likely has an instinct to replicate as a plant. It will disguise itself as another plant and infiltrate the group, hiding among them for cover. The plant being imitated has no way to detect or fight back against this behavior. But when it disguises itself as a human... It wanted to replace you and infiltrate our group? Yes. It was watching us the- Yes, that's exact- So when it approached and it- Perhaps. We're fortunate to have discovered it in time. I think the Traveler was the first person other than Albedo to notice some- Traveler. I want to know too. I had no idea the other guy was an imposter. They looked exactly the same to me. I see. And goes to show- Unbelievable.
Anyway, at least we won in the end. It looks like my method did work after all. <laughs> I used up all the bad luck, and the good luck finally came through! About that... If you're referring to having fallen down the mountain and avoided injury... Well... That's because I was secretly protecting you. <laughs> huh? Uh... Well, that still counts as good luck to me. <laughs> yes, that's not an unreasonable way of looking at it. <sighs> okay. We've been delayed long enough. Time to move on. doesn't seem to be here. He must have headed up the mountain. Let's wait for him. Amber, are you feeling better? Yep, all good now. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. If not for you, I really want to... Th huh? You must be pretty used to be... Oh, come on. Sure, plenty of people have shown me kindness before. But that doesn't mean I will ever take it for granted. Well, instead... Yep, you're right. That's what I've always tried to do. And will always continue... <laughs> right. And when Cyrus gets back, I'll find some- <sighs> Yeah, it has. It's re- <sighs> I need to rest. Everyone, please excuse me for a while. Yeah, I need to get some water and maybe a piece of fruit. Once I'm rested up, I need to get back to being an instructor again. <sighs> well, it looks like the curse of the mountaineers who couldn't get off the mountain is finally broken. Feels like an action-packed chapter has come to a close. Hmm. Shall we find somewhere to rest and chat, too? Why not? Then, please, come with me. You sent something- Huh? Are you going back? Uh... Good. Sorry for bringing you back here once again. Is this about the impasse? That's right. I have to say, Traveler, I'm very surprised you noticed the difference between me and the imposter. Yes. Ooh. Well, I uh, can't deny that what I'm about to say. So, what do you- Uh, a tattoo? A crest? Something else? No. Have you ever seen a glass blowing as the this type of- Sounds kind- it is a- my mark is the difference between the energy of an- creating life artificial- the alchemic- wow. This mark- I presume that the imposter intentionally avoided replicating this mark? You are f just as pyma- the transcendent and miraculous are not the- people like to- or in other- I have friends- Making up stories- Oh. <laughs> in that case, we can base our stories- Sounds good- I understand. We'll see who's- Sure. My story... Yes, I should have known. Master's failed specimen in the dragon's belly. This is where the story truly begins. <laughs> if we switched places... If you were the survivor... The nasty abandoned experiment, the failure of the primordial human project. I'd want to replace you too. I would replicate your appearance, study your alchemy, and 
create miraculous life forms to divert your attention. I would wait for the right moment, then dispose of you and the Traveler, the sole person to have known your secret. And then, I could finally experience the joy of being brought into the world. Leave no stone unturned, as a good knight should. Huh. Let's light it up! 
Let's light it up! Teamwork is dream with owls! Why do they never miss? Leave it all to me.
must leave no stone unturned. Penny's adventure team, assemble!
Let's light it up! Your time. Let's light it up! 
Light it up! Adventure time! Teamwork is dream work! Uh, that's gonna hurt in the morning! Uh, adventure time! Uh, yeah. uh, I must leave no stone unturned! Yeah.
Oh, and it's working oh, wow. super hard. Where did that shows? come from? Let's go find some treasure! <laughs> Benny's Adventure Team, assemble! Spicy energy drink. What? 
leave no stone unturned. As a good knight should. I 
Just leave no stone unturned. Uh, time to clean up. Spot. <laughs> leave it all to me. Good things come to those who don't wait around. That's what they say, anyway. Knowing my luck, the opposite is probably true for me. Benny's adventure team, assemble! Oh, or not. No one's joined me on an adventure in ages. Come on, let's go! Adventure time! Adventure time! Off we go! Adventure time!
adventure time. Adventure time! Quite the fine. What's the hurry? What's the hurry? Thank you. 
adventure time! Adventure time! Uh, adventure time! Adventure time! We go! Adventure time! Adventure time! Off we go. Let's light it up! Yeah! 
Let's light it up! Ah, even better than I imagined. It's my lucky day. Adventure time!
Let's go find some treasure. Out of the way! Adventure time! time.
we go! Let's light it up! What's the hurry? What's the hurry? Dodge this! Cool it!
Even better than I imagined. It's my lucky day. Off we go. Adventure time! Adventure time!
Adventure time! Adventure time! Let's light it up! Adventure time! Off we go! 
Adventure time! Adventure time! Adventure time! Adventure time!
Adventure time! Off we go! Adventure time! Adventure time! Adventure time!
Adventure time! time. your time.
Nice to meet you.
Traveler, Paimon, I suppose your story is ready. Yep, yep! How about you? Uh, do you need some more time? No need. I am also ready to tell my story. Paimon calls yes! Paimon first! Please, go ahead. Okay, here goes. Once upon a time, there was an evil researcher who went into the mountains and did a crazy experiment on whopper flowers to transform their appearance. After a lot of pain and suffering, the whopper flowers finally took on a human form. Then they stood by the side of the mountain to wait for unsuspecting bypassers. To whoever spoke to them, they would ask some questions such as, Who am I? Who are you? If the bypasser got the wrong answer, the last sound they'd make would be a yelp before the whopper flower ate them alive in one bite. Ooh, truly frightening. Okay? In other words... And then what? Uh, it's a good st What for? Yes. You've got a real mean streak- Mine is a great alchemist. However, subject to what he saw all kind- Never in sub- This was what's- uh, Subject to be- He changed his face into a- And so- What? But subject to wanted to become- In my view, he's so desperate. Subject to his- The next moment that he would secretly- People would have n uh, But, just be- uh, What's wrong? What happened then? He became a new stage. It's as if there- In all the world, people do not- This is exact- <sighs> Fortunately, monsters mutated with- um, The only th as beings who set- f Is creation. If it is, nothing's- Whenever I think- Horab! Hello! Hey! Thought we might find you here. We're here to deliver Winter Camp is- Looks like we need to go out- Then I won't keep- Don't worry about it. Is everyone ready?
freeze. Dodge this. What's the hurry?
Let's light it up! Adventure time! Off we go!
catch up. You again. No one's the joined me on an adventure in ages. ages. Come on, let's go. Oh, ow. Where did that come from? Adventure team, assemble! Oh. Oh. Hmm. Or not. The case before us is a strange and unprecedented one indeed. Good things come to those who don't wait around. That's what they say, anyway. Knowing my luck, the opposite is probably true for me. Benny's adventure team, assemble! Hmm. Uh, hello! N oh, or not. Oh, ow! Where did that come from? 
from? Join me on an adventure in ages. Come on, let's go. Benny's adventure team. Sometimes the law is compatible with human nature, but sometimes the two conflict. Balancing the two is a discipline in its own right. Good things come to those who don't wait around. That's what they say, anyway. Knowing my well, luck, remind you the again. opposite is probably the true be for both me. A help and a hindrance. Benny's adventure team assemble. Not. Sometimes the law is compatible with human nature, but sometimes the two conflict. Balancing the two is a discipline in its own right. Mind you again, the law can be both a help and a hindrance. Benny's adventure team assemble. Oh, oh, mm. or not? Mm. Benny's adventure team assemble.
your time. <gasps> no one's joined me on an adventure in ages. Come on, let's go. Adventure time! <laughs> 